So we're going to move on to um, how, how much does it cost to attend the HCS. So we are de relegated by the Department of Education. We're required to come up with a estimated cost of attendance for an academic year. In our case, we're a nine-month academic program. So we go from September to May, and we have to come up with a cost for what it will cost for tuition, for uh, health fees, for a student activity fee, and then an estimate of your food, housing, books, miscellaneous. So you see that this is a pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of places that we can um, work with here. So we have to stick for the most part. We have a little bit of um, wiggle room in some areas, but for the most part, we have to stick to these specific categories. So we know for sure what we'll charge for tuition and health insurance fees. Um, these are, of course, the 13, 14 rates, the 14, 15 rates have not been established yet, but this just gives you a ballpark. And again, we post all of this information on our website as well, um, so that you have a sense of what the costs are. The Blue Cross Blue Shield is the individual policy. Um, many students are actually able to waive that if they're still, if they have their own personal plan or they're covered uh, under a family plan. Um, if you waive that cost, then we just deduct that from your cost of attendance. If you don't have your own um, insurance plan and you're required to take the school's plan. The UHS fee is a university health services fee, so that's if you get sick on campus, you can go to our health services office and someone can see you. Um, that is not waivable. You do have to take that fee. The activities fee is $50 for the academic year. Uh, all of that money goes directly to our student activity groups, so that funds all the programmatic things that happen throughout the academic year. And then we have estimates for what we think it will cost you for food, housing, books, and miscellaneous expenses. Um, and these are estimates, but we think that they're pretty realistic. Um, in the housing, I will particularly um, like to point out that our housing budget is assuming about $1,100 a month for both utilities and rent. And most of the time, that means that you really should be thinking about getting a roommate, if at all possible. I recognize that that's not always the right situation for everybody, um, and certainly you have to make um, the best decision for you. But I often say to students, if you live like a graduate student when you're a graduate student, you won't have to live like one when you're 50. <laughs> so, you know, I, the next roommate I want is a husband, so I certainly understand that, you know, at, at my age, I don't necessarily want to have um, a roommate. But on the other hand, uh, living with someone else for a couple of years to really keep your costs to a minimum um, will certainly help you in the long run. Um, the other thing that we should talk about is it's not inexpensive to live in this part of the country. Um, in some cases, you can rent a palace for $600 in other parts of the country. Here, you might get a closet, and I can't even guarantee the closet would have a door. So you just have to be realistic about um, what your expenses are. Uh, but I think what's really great is you have time to think about this. So start talking to other students, um, students that are currently living here. Uh, where do you live? How did you find a great housing deal? Pay attention to those things. Look on uh, boston.com to get an idea of what the um, rents might be in the area. And don't necessarily convince yourself that you have to live in Cambridge proper. Um, we're just a couple of blocks away from Somerville. You'd be surprised at how much less expensive Somerville is. And it's still very accessible. There's a number of other communities uh, that you can look at as well. Um, so keep your options open. Uh, if you have decided that you're going to live in Cambridge in a one or two bedroom by yourself, you should be prepared that you're going to pay $1,600, $1,700 for rent. Um, and our budget will not allow you to borrow that much. Um, so you're going to have to think about, do you have other resources that will help you cover that? Um, because we can't allow a student to go beyond their cost of attendance. We do have wiggle room for things like if you um, are bringing a family and you have dependent children that you need daycare for while you are in school and your spouse, if you have one, is working, um, we can work with you to increase your cost of attendance. But that just gives you additional borrowing eligibility. It doesn't increase your grant.